hi guys welcome back to my channel jesus tv my return subscribers thank you so much for always being my channel my new viewers you're welcome yes if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to um share and like my videos don't forget to comment finally don't forget to tap on that notification bell so that anytime i post a video you get notified yes okay so people have been saying a lot that um a lot of bloggers should stop saying that queen naomi is no longer married to on your um that it is true that she verbally said that um she was no longer interested in the um in the throne or being called a queen that she disassociates herself from anything that concerns the throne of ile Yufe. and so since then she's been living separately uh, she's been living in a house in a in Akure, and the king has been in his own palace um, without um, her, and that was before he now got married to his wives. So um, a lot of people have been saying that Queen Naomi is still married to the king, though she already said she's no longer interested, but because of the rights. That were performed on her and if those rights has not been reversed like if the rituals um if they don't do the proper proper rituals for cleansing that she cannot marry any other man and she still remains the wife of the king why some people are saying that um she's been according to the Jesus, that she's been blackmailed into staying in the palace okay um you remember when they said that um Kenomi's younger brother, Wenuru, Abi Eda brother, was actually involved in um scanning some people um their lands, you know, and all that, which involves millions of naira and that the case has been taken to court and all that. And somebody said that um somebody said that um one of the uh people that um, arrested him, actually said to Kenomi that it is just the throne of Ileife that was actually covering her um, from them taking drastic measures because the case is not um, a small case. Um, a lot of people need to recover their money and uh, what Weneru did was wrong. That was the gist actually. So they are saying that this is the reason, according to Jesus, this is the reason that Kenomi is still around that um she doesn't want to uh pressurize them to go on with the rituals you know cleansing rituals so that she can be finally free from um the throne of Ileife and so that she can actually um get married or date whoever she wants to although this gist has been flying that she's dating one of um her um king's men in akure one man in akure that stays in lagos is a, is a big boy actually let me not mention the name yet that's the jesus we find that he has been the one funding her lifestyle although to me i don't believe that because um Kwenomi has a lot going on for her she has a lot of businesses and all that uh, it is proper and normal for people to um admire you and gift you gifts even when you don't want to um um, accept it so um, that aside um, people are still saying that um, besides um, Kwenomi has a son for the king so it is not going to be easy for her to just leave uh, yeah, if a throne. and the king's son does not grow in another man's house um, is either he returns the prince to have um to his father or he stays with him till he's old enough to go back to his father's house so that is the decision and because of that she still remains um a queen and yes um i also heard this gist that the yolu of ilefe has not been replaced i was like ah how um i thought we have all heard the gist that uh, Queen uh, Miriam has taken over as the Yolu of Ilef. And somebody said it's not true that um, 
Olori Marian is just the head woman, the head queen, because she was the first that was married. But the Yoruluwa um, title has not been issued to her, has not been given to her yet. But she can perform the duties of the first of the wife of the Oni of Ife or the Yoruluwa of Ile Ife. I was like, okay, I've not heard this. this where is this one coming from? I don't know how true that is, but I already know that. To me, I already said that um, Queen Marian has as, uh, 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 ascended the throne. The queen, um, the throne as the Yolu of Ileife. You know, she's the first wife and she has started performing. Um, she has already started her duties as the first wife. Well, a lot of this has been flying up and down like, okay, so um, where is this one coming from? Where is this just coming from? And um uh when they said queen Naomi has already started dating someone else and she has already moved on with her life and all that me i actually knew that um it is not possible she cannot people can admire her but it is not possible until the rituals uh, uh the cleansing rituals has been done that i know now she can be free you know to do whatever she wants to do so it is still it is still true that she's still the she's still um the Olori, one of the Oloris in the palace. Yes, she's still married to the king. She might decide not to stay with him, to go close, you know, but it she is still married to the king. So uh, which is which is true. So what most of the people that are commenting on the videos are saying is actually true. So that's why I've not actually answered them because I knew when I said, but people can contradict things. The other time I said she was no longer married to the king. And I, I said she was still married to the king. And most people were saying, how do you know? Why are you forcing them? Why are you forcing them? You, know, you, can, you people can contradict things. But the first thing remains that the cleansing has not been done. Until the cleansing has, uh, takes place, she's still married to the king. And because she has a child with the king, a prince, Per se. So, um, she's still the Olori. She's still one of the Oloris, you know, of Oni of Ife. So, my beautiful people, thank you all for always coming around, for listening to my gist, for your awesome comments in the comment section. I really appreciate you all. Yes, and if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that anytime Gist of Gist TV posts a video, you get notified yes once it once again thank you all once more and have a blessed day